Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabi and Muhammad. Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma bad. Ahabatifillah. We get so many questions, primarily from brothers that are tested with. Uh, about people being tested with pornography. And we've talked about it many times. And I know there's a plethora of information on the net from Salafi and even non-Salafi speakers as far as the topic. And some are better than others and have more knowledge about this subject than others and ways to remedy it. But when we f reflect upon what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَمَا نَاهَا وَمَا مَا نَاهَا نَفْسَنَ الْحَوَى فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَعْوَى Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the one who prohibits himself from his desires that verily Jannah will be their, their abode so when we look at that ayah alone and all the other nasus that really illustrate the importance of controlling our desires <clears throat> and when we reflect upon that the person who involves themselves with pornography that no doubt they can be uh, overpowered by their desires And it is a struggle and it can be an addiction, similar to a drug. But they have to look at the overall outcome because everything in this dunya, we're all tested with something different. For some people, it is their desire. Some people, it's pornography. Some people, it's zina. Some people, it's money and greed. And for others, it's other things. And so, ultimately, the one who prohibits himself from his vain and wicked desires then there then <clears throat> jannah is their their ab uh, abode so you have to ask yourself do you really want jannah before you're going to do that and that is really a test of iman and so the person who involves himself in there there is nothing that I can do, nor anyone else can do. It has to come down to what they are willing to sacrifice to get to Jannah. Are they willing to put their desires at bay and take the halal means for Jannah? Are they willing to refuse themselves, naha nafsuhu an al hawa, to 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 refuse and reject his or her desires? in order to get to Jannah. So they have to put things into place to help and assist them, and they have to have that true determination. So that is ultimately, as with Toba, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that you have to have determination. Whatever sin it is that you struggle with, you have to have a true determination to leave that sin and not return to it. You have to desire to be away from that sin, to reject evil, and to go closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to have the desire, the ragba, and the intention to do so. And what is going to illustrate the true intention is when you stop. And when you make uh, strong efforts, that doesn't mean you may not fall back into it, but when you are persistent and continual in a type of sin, then that is a, either a lack of sincerity or extreme weakness. So you have to, in essence, fight. You have to become a fighter and a warrior against your own nafs, against your desires. And that's why so many of the books of the Salaf and so many athar of the Salaf, we hear them talking about the importance of fighting the shaitan and fighting sin and being not immersed in the dunya and and sadda you know cutting off the 
various means to sin, those things which entice you, those things which deceive you, that the Salaf were vigilant and spoke extensively about these issues. And so you have to ask yourself before you're going to indulge in something, you know, am I really sincere to Allah? Can I leave this for Allah? Can I put up a barrier? Because that's what taqwa Allah is. It's putting up a hedges or a barrier between you and the, and the, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are taking your, uh, you are doing the awamrillah, the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you are avoiding his prohibitions. And so that is putting up that barrier. How can you put up a barrier for, the, for those things? For one, make sure you're not alone. Number two, uh, make sure your intention is sahih. Number three, <clears throat> when you're using the internet or whatever forms of pornography that you uh, encounter, that you uh, make sure you're not doing it alone. Number uh, four is put on some blocks or some sort of way to uh, monitor or filter your internet traffic. Those are some of the ways. Also doing talab al-ilm and busying yourself with good. This is also a means for dealing with that stuff and preventing yourself from falling into sinfulness and desires and being continual in disobedience to Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to aid you and help you and cure you and cure us of our many sins and help us to all be <coughs> sincere worshipers of Allah Azza wa Jal. And may Allah make all of our affairs easy and good. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.